Carol Rafter, one of our famous, famous ex-teachers at the school. So good to see you. You look so great, honey. Good you to look see you, too, Ralph. You look so great. So listen, take us to where, tell us, you know, real quickly your background, college, where you went at some other places you taught and everything, and then get us into the Palm Beach Day School and we'll reminisce about things like that. We'll go over some of the drama on that, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I know okay. that there was a lot of drama there. <laughs> well, yeah. I went to Ursinus College in Pennsylvania and uh, got my bachelor's degree and got my master's down here at FAU and um, taught up north in public school and private school before coming down to um, Palm Beach Day in 1969 where I was just part-time for a year before I became full-time. You can, you started here in 69? Just for a year for part-time, yes. Okay, so you came the year after I came in 68. That's so right. In 68. So had you stayed here, you'd be in your 54th year with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't even mention. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So that's, you know, that's, that was basically my, my background. And, and then I was at the day school, you know, till uh, 2005 when I retired. So you retired in what year? 2005. 2005. 2000, wow. See, I, I, I lose all track of time. I, well, I, I lose all track. Of time. <laughs> Last year or a year before that, I had a former student come in. She stopped in to visit me. And I said, oh, and I remembered her. I, I knew who it was. I knew, but I said, oh, so let's see now, honey. Let's see. Hmm, you'd be graduating from college now or soon, right? <laughs> she started to laugh. <laughs> she said, Mr. Greco, I'm 35 years old. I'm a partner in a law firm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't make her feel bad, I'm sure. <laughs> so I, I have, I lose track of all, any kids or that except those that were in Lisa and Eddie's class. Those are the ones that I can put in a place. <laughs> well, what, what was hard for me was that we'd have, I would have seventh, eighth and ninth graders all together. So to distinguish, you know, if they were in the seventh grade class, the eighth grade, because they were all there together. So, I, you know, that always was a little, little hard. I just sort of lumped them all together at that point. Yeah. So let's see. I'm trying to think of the... Um... Some of the kids here, we, we had some excellent girl athletes, didn't oh, we? Amazing. And I was thinking about that be before I, you know, uh, turned on, uh, got this going. And I was thinking, you know, there are just too many to even begin to even think about naming because I obviously would, would not, you know, be able to name everybody. And I would not want to ever eliminate, you know, not have somebody who was really spectacular. But it was unbelievable that in in a school where we had 25 to 30 upper school kids that we would have as many really, really fine athletes as we did. And that was, it, it went on for quite some time. We were really, really fortunate. So, I wonder how you could account for that. Uh, I, I don't believe it. I think. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but again, as Lisa said, we were playing high school teams. We we're playing high school teams. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We, we we traveled as far as Sebastian and Vero Beach and Miami. You go up to St. Edwards for lacrosse. Went to St. Ed's and Vero, yeah. Yeah. Pinecrest and Fort Lauderdale, and so we yeah to get the competition, we kind of had to travel. You had and, to travel. Uh, that and and the kids always did extremely well. They were never intimidated by anybody, so that was a good thing. They intimidated a few, I think. <laughs> they might have these little these little middle schoolers getting off the school bus, <laughs> looking like, where did I come from? And then get on the field and all of a sudden they were a whole different, you know, a whole different uh, thing. It was, they, they were pretty amazing, really. So now you've been in real estate since you retired? Uh, even before that, I've been in real estate since um, 91. So 91. I've been doing, doing a, this for a long time, too. Are you with, uh, with a firm now, Carol? Yeah, I'm with Illustrated Properties. What's the name of it? 
illustrated property. Illustrated property. Get it out there. Get it out there. <laughs> there you go. For sure. You know, Carol, I was <clears throat> last week, last week, I'm getting out of my house and cars right in front, I'm getting ready to get in the car and a car pulls up, and pulls over, right? Two guys are in it. Hey, is this your house? I said, yeah, it's my house. You want to sell it? Oh, I said, who are these? I said, yeah, you got $5 million. He said, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a few. <laughs> Goodbye. But they're going crazy over here, Carol. I, it's, I, it's going I, crazy everywhere, Ralph. It's, it, it's just. You know, my house is a tear down. They want to tear. They should tear it down. It should be torn down. You know, <laughs> but. But. No, yeah. no, it's. I mean, that's been going on for quite some time, but but this past year has has just been just a crazy, total crazy. crazy, crazy year. Yeah. You know what? It it's it's never going to be a bad time for for you for you yeah. or for them, Ralph. So I wouldn't worry about that. And you, who you don't even know how to get across the side of the other side of the bridge, you have to stay there. You'll get lost. <laughs> right. I don't go if I have to go to the other side. Even now. Uh, Lisa takes me. Now I drive around town because I eat a lot. I eat just in Palm Beach, you know, so I'll drive to the restaurants and I'll drive to school here. Right. But I try to stay off the road in West Palm and then too many crazy drivers out there. No, this is oh, an emergency. I can handle it. I can handle it. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, funny. Carol. Okay. Now where's Reed? Tell me about Reed. Well, he's he's doing great. He's he's down at St. St. Andrews. He runs the tennis program down there, and the, the boys just won their fifth uh, state championship. And the girls, really? yeah, and the girls girls won as well. And they had won five years ago, but so this is their second in five years. The boys have won five straight, and I think they won all all but one of all their individual matches too. So they're they're doing great. They're doing super. And What's he, he loves do? it. What's he do? Recruit? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? When when they do as well as they do, it's you know people just want to be a part of it. So right, um, right. Who was I'm trying to think? A couple years ago, we had a kid from here who went down there. It was a real good. I'm trying to think who it was. He, he was ranked nationally, I think. Yeah, I I, I, think. I I honestly don't know, Ralph. I don't I don't know all the names of the kids. But, um, but yeah, they've, they've done extremely well and great group of kids. And, and he, he loves the whole situation there. It's, it's Is great. he living down there in he Boca? in Del Rey. In Del Rey. Uh-huh. Okay. Reed, we're trying, I'm trying to think, we're trying to think, how old would Reed be now? Reed is 50, oh, I have to stop and think myself, 52. 52, 52, okay, because Lisa's 60. And she remembers when you'd go on the bus, he would come with them and everything. <laughs> he remembers the chocolate chip cookies that Dolly used to make. Yeah. <laughs> Funny the things that you remember, <laughs> all those yeah. important things. So anyway, Carol, um, let's go back and do some reminiscing about what, what things stand out to you that you remember? Oh, my goodness. Cool. Some outstanding things or whatever. Any any drama that you remember? Because <laughs> we've always had drama at day school. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure the drama. Some of the drama I, I tend to forget about, but the um, I I think it was just the, the fact that that we were so fortunate to to have the, the the kids that we did and and have the support. We had all kinds of parental support. We had all kinds of um, there was never a game that the moms weren't there like. Emmy Burdett and um, Carol Lindstroth and people like that who would be there waving their, you know, their banners and stuff. And we had all kinds of great support from the parents at, at all the games and stuff. So that was, that was really, that was really important. Um, and I, you know, I always was happy that, that they were like that, that they, they, they did support us for, you know, otherwise it just wouldn't have worked nearly as well. But I can't, I'm trying to think, we had some, we did have some different experiences, I think, on the school buses when we'd go here, there, and everywhere in our little school bus. And 
<laughs> so, you know, it was, it was just kind of funny pulling up to these big high schools where they, you know, had all the wherewithal and everything. And we were just kind of coming along and looking like we were a bunch of ragamuffins and then they'd get off the bus and do their thing. And everybody felt a little different as we were leaving. <laughs> so that was good. Yeah. But, um, I, I remember when Lisa was there, you had some r- real good tennis teams. You had Lisa, oh, we did. Tinka and Lisa, who else? Uh, oh, there were there were just there were just so so many kids who and of course you know they they were really pretty much the tennis they were pretty much doing that on their own they had their own tennis coaches and right. um, they pretty much practiced so we couldn't really take a lot of credit for the, the really good tennis teams the kids pretty much had their own pros and stuff but oh uh, yeah we we had really really good teams and again you know St Andrews and Pinecrest and you know, Benjamin, they, you know, the kids held their own. They, they did great. They were, they were really super. Who were the but, big rivals for you those years, Carol? Uh, I think Benjamin was always a pretty big rival. Benjamin, yeah. You know, we kind of always like to beat them. <laughs> and uh, we like to beat everybody, but we kind of like to beat them. And, and St. Andrews, too, I think. But, you know, we, we started the lacrosse and... Um, there just weren't many teams to play. So we had to go, we had to really go searching for them. That's why we traveled all over the state just about to, to, to get to places. And then they, the one thing I do remember too, is we had a whole group that we went over to the West coast over spring break. Yes, I think. And we went, went over there for, for a um, lacrosse camp and they, and the kids were great. They spent three days of their spring break over, playing lacrosse and and people were amazed because they're all high schools and colleges playing at the lacrosse camp and these and these kids they, they just you know and they just felt like they were part of the whole thing they weren't in the slightest bit intimidated by these older kids it, it was good so th- that I do remember that specifically but and yeah it, it was fun it was a fun time and had lots of support from the administration and that was great because you know, who, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do it. Mr. Who was here when? Who Mr. Was here? Butler hired me. Mr. Who, Butler, Scott Walter, Butler. Walter Butler, and Bill Davis were the administrators when I first started the day school, and were there until what ninety or ninety one, I think. Right. So, yeah, they they let me do a lot. That was great. Who were some of the other teachers that you remember? That are- oh, my gosh. Well, you know, Barb, of course, Barb, Barb Close and Carol Ballas and Bobby Ballas. And- Bobby's at Saint at uh, Benjamin now, you know. Yeah, I, I've seen Bobby at lacrosse games. And I've seen I've seen Robert and, you know, so that's that's kind of cool because he was just like a baby. And. Um, oh, my goodness. And. Uh, a lot of the lower school teachers who, uh, Nancy Lydon, and, uh, you know, who, who had been there not until not too terribly long ago. Um, so it, it was a, it was a great brunch, a great bunch and a very close faculty, very close. It was, it was, um, as a small, we were a relatively small school, relatively small faculty, but very close, very, everybody helped everybody, you know, the, you went to every art show, you went to every science project, you went to every uh, drama production. Um, every, you know, everybody just did that. That was all part of it. And then, of course, they would come to your game. So it was everybody sort of worked together. Were you here when we built the gym? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were. We used to play outdoor back in Lisa's time. We were we were playing volleyball outside. We didn't outside, have to That's right. That's right. So, yeah, I was definitely here when they built the gym. You remember when I made the famous shot? Which one, Ralph? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Jack, the the, um, the construction was, you know, the, they didn't have the floor down. It was dirt and everything. Uh-huh. They had to seal everything in. So he got an idea. He wanted to bring the school in to show the kids where they were you know, at what uh-huh. state the production was, et cetera. Okay. So he said, well, he said, let's do this. 
and they had an old uh, door rim. You could wheel it in a uh-huh. basketball rim and uh, didn't even have a net on it. Didn't even have a net on it. So he got this bright idea with Neil Pilch. He said, let's uh, bring the whole school in and put that in and let's make Ralph take the shot. Oh, okay. good Lord. I don't remember that at all. Oh, yeah. It's in the year one of the yearbooks. Really? So I said, okay. Now, there's, I hadn't shot a basketball maybe for two years or that. And the rim was bent down and there was no <laughs> net. There's no way in the world that I could make that shot. I Thank made you. it, Carol. <laughs> there you go. Where there's said, a will, there's I a way, said, Ralph. Use the backboard. Hit the backboard. <laughs> It'll go in. Oh, that's funny. No, I, I gosh, I, I can't imagine why I don't remember that. That, that I certainly should have yeah. remembered. That was something. That was something. Neil Pilch, Neil, is he retired? I think someone said he retired. Did he really? Because I think he had gone down to, uh, was it New Mexico? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, but I, I thought maybe he would still be working, but maybe not. And Scott, I think Scott Laird. Um, I'm interviewing Scott Monday. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Give him my best. Give him my I will. best. I will. Because we were, we, we talked together for some time too, so. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's uh... well, Carol, it's been so nice. Listen, I owe you a dinner, you know, so we got to get together. The only thing is, I only will go on the yeah. island. Okay, oh, I, I, I know. Well. They have to drive over here. Okay, <laughs> that, that's nothing different. <laughs> it's always been that way. Who was Barbara was asking me today, Carol? She said, "Well, what are you eating?" Because we're talking about food. She said, well, "And I told her, I said, well, I have the same breakfast for fifty years. You know, two cups of coffee, orange juice, and two slices of raisin toast." And she said, how about lunch? And I thought, you remember the cottage cheese and the apple oh. butter that we'd have in the meetings? And you'd look at that. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> I <think. laughs> yeah, I do remember that. That's funny. Those meetings in the room with Walter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. It was, it was good. It really was good. Yeah. I see Lizanne quite often. She lives right up the street from me. Oh, she does? She does, yeah. So I, I do see them quite a bit. And uh, so, that, so that's nice. Yeah. And Bobby comes over. Every Saturday we go to breakfast at Dante's. You know where Dante's is? No. On, uh, it's right near that big Publix on, I forget what road it's on, and Dante's Restaurant, yeah. Every Saturday we go to breakfast there. On sunrise or sunset on one of those streets? No, I forget the name of it. It's, it's, it's in that oh. shopping center. There's oh, okay. A, okay. Uh, oh. So that's what. So that's about it. Well, Other, give him that, my best too, because I haven't seen that? him forever. Bobby, Who? give Bobby my best. I will okay. absolutely. He's getting a new hip put in this summer. He's, he's what? A new hip. He's going to get a new hip. <laughs> well, Reed Reed had it got a new hip. Oh, did he? At Christmas time, yeah. So, <clears throat> did it anyway. work out okay? Yeah, appears to. Yeah, seems to be. Good, good. That's good. Okay, Carol, right. dear, what's been so nice? You look great, honey. You look great. Uh, I mean, well, man. thank you. So do you, you look this exactly the same. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't walk the same. <laughs> no, it's good. Okay, and tell Rita I said hi. I will do that. You take okay, care. Dear. Okay.